my amazing students, Tutor Miska here. I hope that you've been doing great so far and enjoying, liking, sharing, and commenting on our videos. We at Reach Educational Services appreciate your support. In today's video, we're going to finish up on learning about verb. The verb that we will be looking at is the to be verb. So, so far we know about what are verbs, how to identify them in a sentence, and the different types of verb. So the to be verb is a state of being verb. And the to be, to be verb is the most important verb in the to state of being category. Why? Is because the to be verb, you will find out that we use it quite often in the English language. It can be avoided, but that's for a later lesson. Now, stay tuned, guys. We're going to start off our lesson by looking at the present tense form of the verb to be. And if you don't know, or if you do know, <laughs> the present tense form is what's happening currently or referring to state of being. You can use some present tense to refer to the past or future, but that's for another lesson. <laughs> okay. So the present tense form of the verb to be is am, um, is, are. I completely forgot to mention that in today's lesson we will be taking a different approach. We're not going to just learn some random sentences that I've created. But what we will be doing is we will be learning sentences that are from English songs. This way we can know some more English songs to listen to in our spare time. And this in turn will help us to improve our English. One of the things I always realize my students are doing is asking for recommendations for English songs and English movies so they can use as a way to improve their English. And not just the ESL students, but also the non-native ESL teachers. Let's go. Rich does not own any copyright to any of these songs. And as a result, I will not be singing them or playing them. I will just be reading a line and you guys are free to go ahead and look it up. I will also be providing the title and the artist, of course. Or first verb, the am verb. And as you guys have already learned about your pronouns, you would know that I goes with am. I and am always go together so they're like a married couple they're joined i am whenever we see am we should always know that it goes with the pronoun i okay and i always goes with am they can only go with each other nothing else i am and here we have i am from the very famous bts song dynamite I am diamond or I'm or next to be verb is is he she it is we always know that these pronouns he she it they always use the same verb so he is she is it is and it also means that if you're going to mention a person's name, this is the pronoun that you would use. He instead of he, Mike, is instead of she, Miska, is instead of it, the dog, 
is there we go and our song is from taylor swift wildest dream he is so tall and handsome mm. or the contraction he's so tall and handsome an example for she is she is on top of the world she's on top of the world girl on fire by alicia keys it is it is a beautiful day it's a beautiful day beautiful day by jermaine edwards next in line from the to be verb we have are and R uses the pronouns they, we, you. Remember how we learned about singular and plural? Singular meaning one, plural meaning two or more. So before we have am, um, is. I uses am, um, he, she, it, use, is. We know that uh, I, he, she, it are singular pronouns because they're referring to one person which means that is and am are the singular form of the verb to be here we have the pronouns they we you this means that are is the plural form of the verb to be. So if we're going to talk about more than two people, two or more people, we cannot use am or is. We have to use are. Yes, you can be singular as well, just referring to you, you, one person but you as a group it still takes the plural form of the verb to be are you cannot say you is at all it has to be you are okay so an example here we have is they are my family they're my family Family by Chain Smokers and Kaiko. We are young. We are young by Fun featuring Janelle Monet. You are so beautiful. You are so beautiful by Joe Cocker. Okay, that's it for the present tense form. Let's look at the past tense form. We only have two forms for the past tense and these are was, were. Let's look at some examples as to how to use these forms. And I hope you are enjoying learning some songs so far. As we only have two forms of the present tense verb to be, we know that all the singular pronouns are going to use the same verb, which means this verb is the singular form of the past tense of the verb to be. I, he, she, it, was all using the same verb was the same past tense form was i was he was she was it was i was once i was seven years old seven years by lucas graham i really love this song yeah he was big and strong Rasputin by Bunny M. 
She was mine. When she was mine by Lawson. The song is so sad. <laughs> it was only just a dream. Just a dream by Nelly. You are doing great so far, guys. Really great. I hope that you are thoroughly enjoying the song recommendations and singing along to the ones that you know. Feel free to do so. Enjoy. This lesson is for you to enjoy and learn, of course. Next up on our list, we have were the past tense form of the verb to be. And yes, you guessed it right. The plural form of the past tense form of the verb to be. And we know this because of our plural pronouns. They, we, and you functioning as both singular and plural. Now let's get into it. An example for they, they were, they were like northern stars. Blessed the broken road by Rascal Flats. You we were, were always there of for me. Old. Say you when won't we were let go by, by James Arthur. The end. Thank you for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment down below. Check us out for more at reacheducationalservices.com. Create a playlist with these songs. Enjoy!